Well, hello there, my darlings. So, let me introduce you to the first sim moving in to Copper Mine Apartments. Tarquin Boris Guff Blythe is not the nicest of sims, coming from an aristocratic family in Henford on Bagley. His father, Sir Fitzgerald Guff Blythe, and his mother, Hilary Bunty Guff Blythe, spoiled Tarquin from birth. This resulted in Tarquin's feeling of complete self-importance, which helped him in his politician career with the far-right party, the Gories. To tie in lots of money that his parents obviously provided him, he decided to buy an old mining lot in Brinderton Bay and convert them into exclusive apartments with hefty price tags. Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Thursday to you and welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome to Tarquin. Welcome to Tarquin's apartment. This is going to be the first apartment. We're going to pause it because he's probably going to speak. We don't want him to speak because he's a twat. Um, this is going to be in multiple parts. As I said, you guys know what's going on. If you want to see me build this, I have done a speed build of Copper Mine Apartments um, that I will link down below. And I also created Tarquin in Cass on Twitch yesterday, which I will leave a link to a video down below of that too. Now, I did say that I was going to like chuck in a bit of creator sim um, with this, with this kind of like little ditty that we're doing now with these apartments. But the thing is, I had so much fun creating it live with you guys on Twitch that I'm going to go down that route with this and just do the kind of introduction video for each apartment and each sim as you've just seen. You've learned all about Tarquin. He he is a, well, he's a bit of a knob, isn't he really? Um, silver spoon in his mouth. Owns this big block of, well, it's not a block, is it? But a beautiful building of apartments. Very exclusive building of apartments. Um, and he actually lives in one himself. So that is what we're going to be furnishing today, my loves. That is what we're going to be furnishing today. Look at him in all of his finery. I had so much fun creating him with you guys yesterday on stream. It was just so fun and it just filled me with joy. So we're going to go down that route and create them with you guys live. We Don't worry, I will try and do some cast videos here and there. Um, but... I just got really inspired with you guys last night, so I want to continue on with that and create the rest of these residents um, with you guys. That's what we're going to do. I'm very excited, very excited for this. So, here we are. Copper Mine Apartments. It's an old mine house or an old mill. It could be either. Um, and I did a speed build for this and left everything kind of empty, minus one. Just in case you wanted to move in one of your sims into this lot, I did this kind of um, basic apartment here now Tarquin has got the biggest apartment of course he has he has to um so this is going to be Tarquin's apartment here bedroom bathroom entrance and I'm going to do a kitchen and living room in this situation and he has got his own kind of private courtyard as well that we're going to fill that up um so that's what we're going to be doing today now there are other apartments here they're all a lot smaller but we have got some rather interesting sims moving in yes we have um, and there's two more up here as well. So we've got five more to do. We've got five more to do. I'm very excited about it. Very excited about it indeed. But um, yeah, Tarquin. So there we are. We are going to go in now and start furnishing fit for this specimen right here. So here we are. We are going to start. I think we're going to start in the kitchen. And I'm going to probably see the kitchen around here. Like a nice little small kitchen Maybe a little bit of a dining space here and then a small living room on this side. So it's quite a tight space to fit all of that in. But we're going to give it a good old go, loves. We're going to give it a good old go. So each apartment, I'd kind of want it to reflect their personalities. I really do. So Tarquin is, as you heard, a bit of an asshole. So we're going to make his apartment look like, a, like an asshole, to be honest with you. To be honest, we're just going to make it look like an asshole. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, to be honest. So he does own this whole building. Um, so obviously he did need the biggest apartment out of the lot of them. And I'm probably going to see him being a bit more classic with stuff. Maybe, uh, oh, sorry, I'm shuffling in my seat. 
maybe some antique furniture here and there. The kitchen may be relatively new. I wouldn't go down. Maybe go in for like a shaker style kitchen for Tarquin. Look at his name. Not Tarquin. Guff Blythe as well. That is all your fault, everybody on stream. Um, they made me do it. They made me do it. I'm probably going to see a shaker style kitchen being for him. Because that will kind of blend quite nicely with... Um, kind of like antique furniture rather than doing a modern kitchen, you know? So I think we're going to do that. And I kind of liked the white kitchen that we had there. And I think that kind of suits this place. So we're going to start here, loves. We're going to start here. Hello. Happy Thursday. I hope you're all having a lovely day. I really do. Um, right, I'm going to put the sink on that point there, I think. And I'm going to put the fridge on that corner there. So a nice fridge. We'll go for... Oh, that one's quite not too bad, actually. Go for quite a prestige-looking fridge. Um, oh, even that one there would work, too. Um, I'm kind of feeling the other one, to be honest with you. So I'm going to flop the fridge in here. Flop it into this space here. Now, I was having so much trouble with my sound. I'd had a Windows update, and all of my sound buggered up on my OBS. And I had to try and sort it, and it took me bloody ages. So if I'm a bit scatterbrained and if I'm a bit stressed, that's because I had to sit still and have a breather, loves. I had to sit still and have a breather because I was getting fuming. I really was. <laughs> oh, if you could have seen me. I was cursing windows to the high heavens, my loves. I really was. I really was. I was like, yeah, piece of It was like that. It was just like that. Um, <laughs> I was getting so angry. I really was. Yeah, cool. Okay, and then we're going to put the oven in this space here. So quite a new oven, I would say. Um, maybe going along the lines of that, to be honest. Yes. Yes, we are. We're going to go along the lines of this one here. Put the oven on that space. Sink there. Good layout. Probably a dishwasher as well, to be honest with you. I don't see him doing much. Um, apart from being annoying. An annoying, um, gory... That is the political party, the far right, the far right political party um, of this world that I'm creating. The Gorys. I think you all know where we're going with that. And I think you all understand where Tarquin's roots um, are. <laughs> oh, not a fan, loves. Not a fan at all. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I am absolutely feeling that. I am going, going to. I'm going to do one of these. Is this the medium height one? It is, isn't it? Yes. We're going to do one of these. Do I want it in black? Uh, I kind of don't mind it in black, actually. Let me just see the silver. I'm going to go for the silver one. I'm going to go for the silver one. I don't see cupboards being part of this apartment. So I think I'm going to go for shelves instead. We do need to get a bin in, though. So I must remember that. I'll probably put it here, to be honest with you. Um, Little dining table two i don't imagine tarquin's got many friends just saying just saying darlings i'm absolutely just saying um if you keep see me keep going and checking that it's because i'm scared that i'm not recording i started this build and i saw that my audio was not registering i was like what's going on and that is where the stress started my loves that is where the stress started indeed oh that's cute i didn't even realize we had that that's from um the high school pack okay stunning so, mm, I probably just see some black shelves being here, to be honest. Maybe like one there and one there. We could put a few bits and bobs up on that. Uh, lighting might change in here. No, do you know what? I'm going to keep the lighting like that. I am. I am going to manoeuvre you in slightly though, my love. Pop you to there. Quite a well put together apartment I'm seeing this. I'm not seeing it very much kind of cluttered or... But we're definitely going to go for a well put together apartment for this spot. Yes, we are indeed. Uh, I do have all of the other Sims kind of pre-planned. Tarquin was the only one I kind of went in blind. I just knew I wanted to definitely create a Tory. Oh, sorry. A, a Gory. Um, I know I wanted to for this save file. I just thought it would have been funny. And here we are. Here we are creating that said Gory. Now, do I want to do a half wall here? Just to finish this end off, let's have a little look. Like, just there. And then what I could maybe do... Oh, excuse me. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe I could then put a pillar there. And then 
Put like a beam on the ceiling. Let's have a little gander with that. Oh, what am I doing, for goodness sake? <gasps> oh, right, wall trim. There we are. And maybe this one. No, it needs to be a grey or a white. Oh, white looks better. Yes. And then what I'm going to do is just do a plain pillar in here, I think. Um, hmm. I know it's like in a rustic build, but I don't see the uh, the pillars that we've used, like the industrial ones everywhere. I don't see that being in this apartment for some reason. I just don't see it. So I'm not going to do that. What about this snowy escape one? Oh, that's a bit better. What's that detail on it there? Oh, I don't like that. Can we hide that? Oh, it's on two sides. Um, what about you? Is that just... Nope, that doesn't work. We'll use that one. Stop being fussy. I'm not going to do one on the other side, but I am going to put the wall there for the minute. And then do the beams across the ceiling. So I'm going to use this one here, I think. Maybe in the white as well. Because that will look kind of semi-grey in this... Yes. Do I want to get the detail out? Eh, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Okay. We'll detail that up in a minute. I just want to bring get out some furniture that I can see Tarquin having in this apartment. Get out some antique looking furniture. That will still kind of go with this um, space as well. I do want that to be a thing. So give me one second. So I've managed to find something that I just think would work with this space quite nicely. I can imagine having him having these kind of pretentious dining chairs. I don't know about you, but I just think that would be very Tarquin. Um, the name Tarquin. If you're called Tarquin, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I will not take the piss out of people's names. I promise. Um, but it's my it's the name of my favourite gin or one of my favourite gins. Love a Tarquin's gin. But yes, I kind of see that kind of moment being with him there and this um sofa as well that I've pulled out in the green just to kind of reflect on the kind of green door we've got going on there. I did want this place to be kind of a lot of devoid of colour, though. Um, a bit like Tarquin's personality, you know? So I don't know whether to go a little bit more muted with the sofa or keep it in the green. What about the grey? That grey was working, wasn't it? I think we're going to go for the grey. Yes, let's do that. So this is going to be his little kind of like dining area. Little di I mean, a little living area, not dining area, Aiden, you silly bum. Um, curtains. Beef curtains. Um, I don't know where that came from. That just flopped out to excuse. Oh, I think that's the one. I do. I do think that's the one. It's a shame it's not. A oh, it doesn't really need to be smaller. I can to I can see that in the bedroom as well. I can definitely see that being in the bedroom. Maybe not up there. I don't think I'll put a blind up on that one. Um, even though it does open up onto public space, doesn't it? And he is a politician, so he would need his privacy. Even though he's hated. I've, <laughs> I've made him be really disliked as well throughout the community. That will be happening. Yes, it will. Oh, even those would have been, like, kind of a bit bougie. But um, we're not working with you just yet. We'll come back to you. That's working for me, though. That really, really is. Oh, I wish I could get a piano in here, but it's just too... I, I mean, I could get the smaller one, but it's more of a keyboard, that one, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to put a bar there instead, actually. Oh, that globe bar. Is it called globe bar? Excuse me while I move my mic. Globe. Glob. Globber. Globe bar. There we are. I can totally see this being a thing. I thought my game was going to crash then for some reason. But I have to remember the swatches in this. Uh, just... Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, and that one. I kind of preferred the first one. Yes. I can totally see him swanning around with a whiskey in his hand, relishing in his own self-importance or the thought of his own self-importance. We're going to be repping him a new one um, throughout this part. So I hope you're ready for it, loves. I hope you're ready. Uh, TV, I definitely see quite a bougie TV in here, to be honest. Uh, it is quite a tight space. So it might um, be a little bit difficult in storing, um, installing a TV of some size in this spot. But we're going to try. Maybe this one? Not in that colour, though. Again, it probably needs to be a little bit more muted. Oh, that's perfect. 
Let me just have a look at those other light ones. Yes, we'll go for that one. We're going to flop you into this corner here. Uh, it would be nice if that was kind of central. I mean, I could central or centralize this. Turn the bar maybe that way towards the kitchen. And then they have that kind of adds as like a little separating moment then, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, we'll do that. And then we'll flop up that TV there, I think. Um, covering the window, which I hate, but hmm, maybe I could bring that into the corner a little bit instead. I'm going to have to meander you around now. Flop you to there. Oh, I think that's going to be a bit of a better space. I won't put it um, too wonky, though. Oh, will I? Yeah, I'm going to put it wonky. I'm going to put it offset. Move you to around about there, my love. You can go there, and I'm going to turn you in, in facing this way now. Stunning. Oh. Yes. Yes, I think that would work. I think that would work. That's the perfect colour for in here as well, that curtain. I'm full of that. I really am. And I'm definitely feeling a bookcase, but we could put a couple of bookcases in here. Let's see if I can squeeze one in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Let me see if I can find one. We're going to go for this one here. The regal bookcase is very regal. Very regal indeed. This is from Stranger Things. Stranger, not Stranger Things. Not str I've got Stranger Things on the brain. Um, Strangerville. I didn't know that. I thought that was going to be from university for some reason. Anyway, and I do want to get a chair, matching chair. We'll get that matching um, university chair in, in that colour as well. Oh no, we went for a grey this time, didn't we? We went for the grey. Like his soul. <laughs> Just getting worse. And I'm thinking Candelabra. And this is where he likes to read up against um, the greats in history. You can imagine the greats that he looks um, up to. I'm not saying a word. Um, and then quite a bougie circle. Yeah, like this. Maybe that one? Let me see. Unless I do a dining table and use that instead. Um... I don't know, actually, because this one here does come in some... Uh, I could go completely dark with it. Uh, I'm not really vibing with that for some reason. There we go. I've gone for that dining table instead. It's massive, but, you know, a bit like Tarquin's ego. Um, and I've used this lamp. I didn't go for a candelabra. I was thinking about putting the candelabra on the dining table instead. Do you know? He's a bit of a show-off. And I also put up a picture here. That is his great-great-grandfather. Um, war criminal and this is his I'm gonna say hmm, maybe just great grandmother but on the other side of the family um, and she was just a twat she was just a twat I've got no storyline for her um, we're gonna be moving on so candelabra <laughs> candelabra I'm flopping down that big yeah I think we're gonna use that one Oh, I can totally just see him having that. Maybe with black candles. Again, just like his soul. Yeah, we'll go for the black candles. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to put a rug down here to kind of separate any kind of space off. I think it's too small. It would just look crowded. So I am. Oh, I, hate, I hate the height of that. I'm not feeling that. I'm going to actually... Where are you? There's the default size. I'm going to size it down with the tool mods. Maybe if I try... Like 0 0.6 and see where we go with that. Uh, no, it needs to be bigger. 0 0.7 then. Uh, I can't see because my mic's in the way. 0 0.7. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Oh, it's bloody perfect. Yes, it is. And I'm going to flop you to around about there. Definitely. Oh, I'm feeling that. Now, I would have loved to have put something there, but it's just too much of a tight space with the globe bar and I kind of like the globe bar being in this living area so I'm going to leave it as it is to be honest oh yes indeed so now appliances for the kitchen I'm thinking he's probably doing some all-nighters studying or whatever politicians do or just practicing lies to tell people you know um so he's going to need some coffee isn't he he is definitely going to need some coffee. Now, I just don't imagine he eats all that much. Um, Probably just rat food, you know, like the rest of the gourds eat. <laughs> I told you, loves, we're going to be ripping him a new one. And we are. 
That is the mantra for today. Thank you. Um, so let's try and fit, get things up on the shelves here. Um, lemons, sour, just like his soul and his um, general outlook on life, to be honest. Um, and maybe some pots and pans just at the top for when he cooks. <laughs> he doesn't cook. Don't be daft. Don't be daft. His help does that. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep that one completely blank. So they have got some space to to cook on. Um, the maids. This place is fully staffed as well. So it has got gardeners. It's got a full-time gardener and full-time maids. So they do come around and clean all the apartments. Um, I don't know what to put up here. Maybe some flowers. Maybe some flowers from like an avid fan. Ugh. Sick to me mouth a little bit then, I won't lie. Um, so maybe some flowers. Maybe not those though. No, definitely wouldn't have a bit of colour. Yeah, maybe some darker ones. Oh yes. Yes, I'm vibing with that. Absolutely vibing with that. Okay, I think that is just that's just him. I can feel it. I can feel it here. That is his living room and kitchen done stunning but um i think what we'll do is move on to the bedroom area let's do that so first off i need to find him a bed we'll do this together why not a little bit of fun you know maybe the one from um the high school pack that kind of really ornate four poster i would probably see in this room like this one but the only problem is is there one devoid of color oh god yes there is that's kind of perfect actually <laughs> that is kind of absolutely perfect. Oh, I'm feeling that. We're doing it. We're using it. I'm not even going to look at the swatches. It's working. You know? Moving on. Um, What about you? Do you come... Oh, you do come in a grey. Oh, yes. A little bit darker of a grey as well. And we'll do... Two... Um, lamps either side of it as well. Don't know what lamps, though. Perfect. Perfect. Base game ones. We're going to spin you around, though, because that drawstring is on the other side. Um, I mean, bed, he is definitely single. Definitely single. Um, without a doubt. If you want to learn more stories about him, as I said, the Twitch video is down below and chat got um, creative, shall we say. Um, very creative. I was very proud of them. I really, really was. I was proud of you guys for coming through. <laughs> I really was. So maybe... Oh, that would look nice in here as well. In fact, you know where that would look nice? Right there. Opposite the bed. And then I could still do a wardrobe then as well. Oh, we've got a little bit more room there as well. Stunning. And I'm thinking of bringing one of these chairs in here as well. Um, For when he sits down and has a wank. <laughs> this is his wanking chair. Stop it. For goodness sake. We probably need to put a mirror opposite it, don't we? To be honest. Um... I wonder if I could do that. I probably could. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can come up with. On, I don't know where it's coming from, loves. I do know where it's coming from. I'm sick in the head. I'm sick in the head. <laughs> Aren't we all in this community? Thank God for us. Well, not, not thank God. Thank the universe for us, love. Thank the universe for us indeed. Right, so lovely little wanking chair there. Uh, we do need to give them... Oh, do you know what? I'm not going to do that. I was going to give them a laundry basket, but they have got a laundry. Oh, did I put a laundry basket down here? I didn't. <gasps> oh, no. Do you know what? We're not going to do that. We are going to give them a laundry basket because then it gives them separate tasks then separated off from each apartment, doesn't it? So that's what we're going to do. Yes. Yes, we are. Um, I'm going to just flop in this one here, I think. Yep. I'm going to slot you in there wardrobe there do definitely need a mirror in here though oh that would have been the perfect spot for a mirror i know i said i was going to put it opposite there but maybe he just like pulls it over and watches himself have a hand have a hand shandy <laughs> um storyline slubs i don't i don't make the rules i do not make the rules what about you do you come in like a gray tone oh that's perfect let's just pretend this is on wheels <laughs> so when he does need to maneuver it in position he can just wheel it on over 
I'm sat here laughing at my own jokes. For goodness sake, stop it. Stop it indeed. <laughs> um, and a rug. Rug. I will probably want to go for this one, but the newer. Have we got like a plainer? Oh. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, no, I was not vibing that actually. Let me have a little look. See what we come up, come up with. Perfect. The base game one. I did sign sit down though with the tool mod. I went with a 0 0.87. If you want to get particular. Um, I just think that fits this vibe perfectly. Yes, it does. Now, what do I see up here? I reckon he wears a bit of makeup just to cover up the fact that he's um, ugly. <laughs> joking. I'm joking. That was rude. That was very rude. That was very rude. We all wear makeup. I'll wear makeup, you know. you got to cover up those sins sometimes. You really do. Um, so decorations. There was some like cluttery pieces here here we go makeup essentials there we are um do you come in like a plane there we go stunning and oh what's that oh makeup magic uh no that's got earrings and stuff on i don't see him going that far he's not got his ears pierced for a start um maybe just some like cologne you know i bet he smells rancid oh i bet he over i bet he like over indulges and there's nothing worse for me and someone who just saturates themselves in any kind of perfume is just when it's overpowering it's too much loves a couple of spritzes that's all you need a couple of spritzes okay and i reckon above his bed he loves to let's filter for high school years again put up all of his um degrees and prestigious awards and blah 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 blah, blah. you know that's where we're going with it and maybe let's Get in Discover University as well. Do you? Is there a diploma in here? No. What about if I filtered it for live edit and debug? No. But I definitely see him going to Foxbury. So maybe we need to get up a Foxbury. Um. Oh, here we are. Look. Oh yeah, one of those. He would. He would definitely. This is what he wanks off to as well. <laughs> All of his awards. <laughs> he loves it. There we go. I think he might have some diplomas. What is this? Is that a diploma? What are you? Who are you? He's got several as well. He's got three, by the way. Oh, that's a high school diploma. A high school diploma with honours. Oh, it would be with that, wouldn't it? It would be that one. It would be the high school diploma with honours. Yes, it would. Um, It goes to Simpton as well, which is Eton, where all the posh twats go to. Um, <laughs> oh, the seethingness coming out in my voice. In my voice. Um, hilarious. So, I definitely want to get up some more kind of very classic paintings, but I don't really. Oh, maybe this one, actually. Uh, the, the, the colours are all going to be off, I think. Oh, no, actually, that could be a vibe. Oh, yes. Again. More people from his um, ancestry that he's very proud of. His blue blood. Oh, I'm feeling it. Yes. Yes, we're all for that. We're doing it. Um, What I think actually might work here in this space, because I just had it in my head then. We need a stereo or something. I can. He loves classical music. Um, and I like classical music. But um, I'm not a twat, you know. So we're going to flop that down there as well. Let's manoeuvre you up. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Stunning. Oh, I'm for it. Let's go on to the bathroom then, shall we? So, I'm definitely seeing, or feeling, rather, a full row top bath. Maybe we'll go a bit darker with the um furniture. Well, not the furniture. The plumbing in here. Go for a bit more of a black vibe with it. Again, like his soul. I'm feeling that actually and I could put a sink there and then do a toilet and shower combo here do I want to do like a one of these let's have a look I don't hate that in here actually I'm thinking I am going to do it but I'm going to push this into the wall um and you should be able to use that fine yes and then toilet wise we're going to go for a bit more of modern plumbing I think with the toilet or maybe just classic where's that like classic one can we 
Oh, that's all in... Oh, no, I don't like that. Um, hmm. We'll go for that one there. That one from Cats and Dogs. And we'll flop you into place there, my love. Lovely. Oh, yes. And then here, we're going to do a sink. We're going to do a sink moment. Now, I don't know. Oh, I wonder if I could do... I wonder if this would work in here. Uh, not really. Is there a black and white version of this? It doesn't seem to be. They seem to be more... I mean, that's just full black. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but... I wish there was a black and white version of that. Oh, well, that's not the right one to use. We'll use this one here instead, because that one's got black underneath underneath of the basin itself. Um, You should be able to get through there fine. Let me just check that one has got black underneath. Yes. Yes, it does. And then mirror. I'm probably going to go for a bit of a... Oh, yeah. Maybe you. A bit bougie. We're going to pop you up a little bit, though, my love. There you go. Oh, she's stunning. She's stunning. And we're going to do... Maybe that little lovely rug that I love to use in bathrooms. Um, oh, that kind of fits. I thought that was going to be a bit too big. Um, but I'm going to recolor you too. No, we're going to go for full black. Stunning. Gorgeous. Beautiful. You know? Um, and then here, I think what I want to use is that towel rack. Maybe this was like a moving in present from the family been in their family for generations it was in lots of their estates that they've got um and we will be doing an estate for Henford on Bagley let's build the worlds um yes beautiful and then a lovely little loo row on this side still waiting for a new loo row holder how has it been so long that we haven't got one um gorgeous oh do you know what else I probably see him having a a robe in here where is the robe said robe here we are in black as well again like a soul let's move you down a little bit my love and again there we go oh that's perfect that's perfect i'm not going to do anything on that wall either i'm going to keep it as it is oh that's perfect what a perfect bathroom for him loves it so the last thing we're going to furnish in um the house itself is going to be this little hallway i think what i'm going to do is just, i'm just going to pull out all of the stuff that i think here because we're going to move on to the courtyard in a second um so let me just pull out everything i think it would need here and then we'll go on and do the courtyard together so i just decided to go for this kind of look a bust of one of his relatives um a portrait of maybe one of his relatives, Captain Sir something or nothing. Um, a full suit of armour because, yeah. And more reasons just to check himself out before he leaves the door. And maybe Sir, an umbrella stand as well. Umbrella rack. I can completely see him swanning around with one of those long umbrellas that he walks with like a walking stick. Oh, it's making me hate them even more each time. I just say something about him to be honest so we're into the courtyard uh i did size down this pergola i thought this would work if we could find uh a color that will work yeah that will work the lighter kind of shade i'm going to push you right up to the wall there just so he's got a bit of space out here to maybe do a bit of fine dining a little bit of fine dining darlings um so again Let's maybe grab you out. Will you work out here? Oh, you will. I'm going to flop you to there, my love. And we're going to use some bougie chairs out here as well. Um, I don't want to go with those high-backed ones. Uh, I think I'll go for something a little bit... Oh, this would kind of work, I think. Oh, yes. Let me see that again. Is, is there a, like a, a better shade? I mean, look at the bloody texture of it. Oh, that's better. Look at the bloody texture of it compared to everything else. It's like Sims 1, darlings. Yes, we'll do that. Again, a candelabra out here as well. One needs must, you know. Candelabra out here. Definitely. And I definitely see... Not him himself growing things. There is a gardener that comes around and just tends to his herbs and spices, you know. I'm feeling that vibe. Maybe we're just going for like a nice plain, 
pot for that as well. We'll do that. We'll do some herbs and spices. Herbs and spices, darling. Um, I definitely don't see him being a um, barbecue haver, if that's a word. Um, so I'm not going to put a barbecue out here. But what I do want to put out here, if I can click on the right bloody thing, is some kind of water feature. I mean, oh, this one has got that grey as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm feeling that vibe. I'm feeling that vibe. Let's flop that into place as well. Definitely. And maybe just an area where you can come and just sit out in the actual garden itself. So, uh, maybe a concrete kind of stone bench, to be honest. Um, not comfy in the slightest, but it's not about comfort. It's about how it looks, you know? Maybe this kind of vibe out here. Can we go... I don't know if the... Oh, no, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I think we'll go for that one. Should we just keep it... Oh, maybe there's better ones. Let me see. Here we go. I've pulled out some stuff from Romantic Garden. And I'm going to go for these here. From University, I think these are from. We'll find out now. Um. Oh, no. Sorry. Not from University. They're from Realm of Magic. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Completely forgot. Um, I'm going to flop that into place instead. Like this. And then you, my love, are going to go in the corner there. And the same on the other side. Let's give it a little spin. To there. That's not straight. That's as straight as me, Aiden. Um, there we go. And maybe a couple more of these as well. I'm going to put one here. Me meander you across a little bit more. And another one on the other side. Oh, stunning. Stunning. Yes. Yes, this is definitely a courtyard fit for Tarquin. Keeping away from all of the, the normies, you know? I'm for that. I really am. Now, what lighting did I use out here? I didn't. I used these. Okay. Well, maybe he's just going to install or have a few bougie lanterns installed instead let's have a little look at you not you because the texture on you makes me feel sick um what about you instead yes we'll do that we'll put one there and one up there as well oh i'm for it i'm for it this is definitely definitely an apartment block fit an apartment fit for tarquin yes it is um, so there we have it, my loves. Tarquin's abode is done. Tarquin's abode is done. We'll do a little tour. Um, so obviously, we've got his main living spot here. And, oh God, the kitchen's disappearing. And the kitchen over this side as well. Fully staffed. Private chef. Um, paid from with taxpayers' money. You can imagine. Um, hallway. Bathroom. Very bougie bathroom as well. Oh, absolutely stunning. And then through here, entrance coming in through that way there. And then into the boudoir as well. I like the bedroom. I think the bedroom's my favourite room. Um, Just suits him. His wanking room. <laughs> um, Obviously, oh, for goodness sake. We've got that going on. Little living room. And then obviously his little courtyard as well. Why do I keep saying obviously? Don't know. No idea. Little courtyard area too. Beautiful. Stunning. So... I'm going to try and get one to two parts of this out a week. And it will be in the format that we've done. So I'll introduce you to The Sims. Um, kind of in a little mini machinima kind of way. And then we'll go and furnish the apartments together. So done. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. If you've got some funny stories of what Tarquin um, gets up to, then please let me know that too. Because I'd be very interested. Um, I'll be back with this next week. I'll be back with this next week. Um... Unsure what day. Not sure what day I'll be back with it, but we'll start furnishing one of the other ones together. Yes, we will indeed. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to be live on Twitch tonight, my loves. We are playing a new horror game. I'm going to be shitting my pants. So if you want to come along and watch me shit my pants playing the mortuary assistant, then please do so. 7 p.m. BST. But if not, I will see you tomorrow with a little tiny speed build that I've got for you. Um, yes, goodbye.